orbit. Beyond the blue. Captain, so I believe there's been a distortion in the space-time continuum. Exactly. Okay. So if you if you ask yourself, can I distort it in interesting ways that might benefit what I want to do in the universe? A wormhole, also known as an einstein rosen bridge, is like a tunnel with two openings in different places or times. It's based on the idea that nothing is completely flat or solid. Everything has tiny gaps and wrinkles, including time. At the smallest scale, there's a place called the quantum foam, where wormholes might exist. However, some scientists believe that our universe itself exists inside a wormhole and could connect us to other universe. Theoretically, a wormhole could take us to other planets or even allow us to travel to the past if the two ends of the wormhole were in the same place, but at different times. But another theory says a wormhole could be a connecting pathway between a black hole and a white hole. Well, if you have a black hole, it could what's on the other side it would be like a white hole i mean i mean why not right. where everything only comes out right then how would you connect them with a wormhole but there's a big problem with wormholes and it's related to paradoxes one famous paradox is the grandfather paradox where someone goes back in time and prevents their own existence this kind of time travel would break the fundamental rule that cause happens before effect so in the end a wormhole like the one described can't exist. In science fiction, there are many stories about traveling through wormholes. But in reality, it's much more complicated. Wormholes are predicted to be incredibly small. And as our universe expands, they may have stretched to larger sizes. Wormholes are fascinating because they can connect not only different places in our universe, but also different universes. Some scientists even suggest that if we move one end of a wormhole in a certain way, it could allow us to travel through time. Astrophysicist Eric Davis explains that with traversable wormholes, we could potentially go into the future or even visit the past. However, it's not going to be easy. Transforming a wormhole into a time machine would require an enormous effort. However, cosmologist Stephen Hawking disagrees and argues that using a wormhole for time travel is not possible. According to NASA's Eric Christian, a wormhole doesn't actually let us go back in time. It's more like a shortcut that brings distant places closer together. Scientists have considered adding a special kind of matter called exotic matter to stabilize a wormhole so that people could safely travel through it. However, there's a risk that even adding regular matter could make the wormhole unstable. Unfortunately, our current technology is not advanced enough to find, enlarge, or stabilize wormholes. It seems like the wormholes are inherently unstable, the big ones. And if you try to travel through one, it collapses. But scientists continue to study and explore this concept, hoping that future technology will make it possible. However, there's an interesting theory proposed by theoretical physicist Nikodem Poplovsky. He suggests that a collapsed giant star in another universe could have created a wormhole to our universe. According to his calculations, Conditions inside this wormhole might resemble those during the Big Bang, which could explain some mysteries about gravity and the expanding universe. And thus, we could very well be living inside a wormhole. However, further refinement is needed to understand if traveling between universes through a wormhole is possible. It's important to note that other scientists have different opinions on this theory with some considering it more theoretical than practical. The key question remains whether the necessary matter to construct a wormhole actually exists. Speaking of traveling between universes, NASA has made a groundbreaking discovery, which may be a portal to a universe where time runs backwards. Science fiction across languages and countries loves parallel universes. 
The idea of a universe like ours, but where we could be leading a completely different life, with circumstances that are wildly unlike ours is tantalizing to say the least. In the Korean drama, the king, the king of the kingdom of Korea, travels to a universe where he lives as a civilian, in the Republic of Korea. In the Chronicles of Narnia, four kids travel to a fantastical parallel universe of talking lions, evil witches, and one where they get to be princes and princesses. The possibilities are endless. But what if parallel universes are not just limited to sci-fi and fantasy? What if it is as true as you and I? What if one of the leading agencies of space research has found proof of a parallel universe? According to claims, NASA has detected a parallel universe where the laws of physics are opposite to ours. Where asteroids don't crash into a planet, but instead appear to leave it. In quantum mechanics, a parallel universe is theorized as existing alongside our own, although undetectable. Four years ago, the Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, known as the ANITA for short, stumbled upon something unusual. On a handful of instances ANITA spotted what seemed to be highly energetic neutrinos coming through the Earth. The telescope could spot these neutrinos coming from space and hitting the ice sheet in Antarctica. It detected these particles, but instead of coming from space, the neutrinos were found to be coming from the Earth's surface without any source. Opposite to ours, a neutrino is a subatomic particle very similar to an electron, but it has no electrical charge and a very small mass, which might even be zero. Neutrinos are one of the most abundant particles in the universe, but because they have very little interaction with matter, they are incredibly difficult to detect. The ANITA detections first happened in 2016, then again in 2018, with no credible explanation that could be arrived at using our laws of physics. Physicists since have been working to figure out if these results can be explained with our current models of physics or have something to do with the experimental setup itself, or if something like a parallel universe does exist after all. Our universe is unimaginably big. Hundreds of billions, if not trillions, of galaxies spin through space, each containing billions or trillions of stars. Some researchers studying models of the universe speculate that the universe diameter could be 7 billion light years across. Others think it could be infinite. Once upon a time we thought the Earth was the center of the universe, and then the solar system, and our galaxy, and we were disproved on all occasions. Isn't it possible then that our universe is merely a grain of dust in the vastness of the cosmos? A leading cosmologist, Laura Mersini Houghton claims to have that the evidence of parallel universes could be seen in the night sky, and believes that the fingerprint of those alternate universes can be identified. Professor Mersini Houghton said that the key to identifying alternate universes is by looking into the cosmic background radiation at the very edges of the visible universe. The Copernican principle, the concept that the Earth is not unique or special, and that many other planets like ours exist says that accepting the reality of other universes is the natural extension of this. Now, several leading physicists are working on ways of identifying and even peering into the new realities as the idea of a multiverse. What was once the subject of wild science fiction stories and fringe scientific theories is now mainstream. The professor claims that the Big Bang the origin of our cosmos would have left marks on all potential universes if they were all crammed together in an infinitely tiny space. These marks, she claims, could be observed today in the form of cold spots in the cosmic background radiation. Cosmic voids. Around 13.7 billion years ago, everything we know of was an infinitesimal singularity. Then, it burst into action inflating faster than the speed of light in all directions for a tiny fraction of a second. Before a fraction of a second had passed, 
the universe had exploded outward to 10 raised to 26 times its original size in a process called cosmic inflation. As the inflation slowed, a flood of matter and radiation appeared, creating the classic Big Bang fireball, and began to form the atoms, molecules, stars and galaxies that populate the vastness of space that surrounds us. That mysterious process of inflation and the Big Bang have convinced some researchers that multiple universes are possible, or even very likely. According to another theoretical physicist, inflation didn't end everywhere at the same time. While it ended for everything that we can detect from Earth 13.8 billion years ago, cosmic inflation in fact continues in other places. This is called the theory of eternal inflation. And as inflation ends in a particular place, a new bubble universe forms. Those bubble universes can't contact each other because they continue to expand indefinitely. If we were to set off for the edge of our bubble, where it might butt up against the next bubble universe over, we'd never reach it because the edge is zipping away from us faster than the speed of light and faster than we could ever travel. And even if we could reach the next bubble, our familiar universe, with its physical constants and habitable conditions, could be totally different from the hypothetical bubble universe next to our own. And while the opening of gateways to other planes of reality isn't impossible, it is very, very unlikely. It would require approximately 110 billion electron volts of energy to travel through the metaversal wormholes like Rick and Morty do in almost every episode of the popular series. The common sense rules of physics that we use every day may make sense to us, but at very small scales common sense breaks down altogether. At the quantum level, the empty vacuum of space is boiling with tiny particles constantly popping in and out of existence. At a quantum level, the tiny particles that make up the building blocks of everything don't even have a set location, just a smear of possible positions dictated by complex rules of probability. Many theoretical physicists suggest the fact that tiny particles like electrons and photons don't have one set place in the universe, is the ultimate evidence that there are many parallel universes. Is there a parallel universe, and do wormholes have anything to do with it? The answer might be staring at us all along. But what do I know? Orbit. Beyond the blue.